And you are happy today, isn't it? Yes, I'm happy. Seriously. And it's clearly showing that actions cannot just happen without consequences. And Twitter, if you study their mod for the last two years, there have been more of an anti-Nigerian force pro destruction of Nigeria than actually a platform that's supposed to advocate for freedom of expression of Nigerians. Because if you look at what happened now with the suspension of uh, maybe removal of some of the tweets of the president, I can't see any very strong word, a vile word like that of that criminal Namdi Kanu that has been left to still be available on Twitter. Meanwhile, a president of a country who is democratically and legitimately elected to be the leader of a nation, making a statement, talking, giving a language, we will communicate in the language that they understand. And that becomes a very serious uh, issue to Twitter and violating their rules. We don't know what kind of rule is that. And then they decided to embarrass the country, not the president. So therefore, they have to be suspended. You know, as you rightly said, I took them to court during ENSA's process simply because I noticed exactly what these guys are trying to do is to break this country. They tend to amplify a lot of fake news and rise a lot of tension in the state, making the country to be more destroyed. So the best solution is to see how we can arrest them. And we did that. So at that moment, so many Nigerians don't understand. They came attacking me, insulting me, calling me a series of names simply because they thought I was going against NSAS. I wasn't against NSAS. I was against a tool that is planning to destroy Nigeria. And we have seen that very clearly. We have a very serious crisis in the Southeast where these guys are destroying fundamental institutions of Nigerian democracy, INEC offices, police institutions, courts. They are killing people on the street, destroying people's properties. And then Twitter is behind them. That's what I used to call them. I think Twitter is like kind of an IPOP online machine. Because what they do more is supporting IPOP much more than the government. And IPOP, everyone knows they are anti-Nigeria. Their target is to destroy Nigeria. This even left somebody to be asking questions. We have uh, 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 Dr. Ngozi okonjo Wella, the current director of WTO on the board of Twitter. Is she part of the instigators of Twitter? Why won't she call them to order when they are talking against Nigeria? Why is it that we never had a single tweet or any comment from Dr. Ngozi Okonjo well about the activities of Twitter. Is she supporting IPOP? Mm. These are the kind of things that we need it's to be very, very clear about. Into the conversation it is very, very necessary please. because this is very serious. You can't have an organization, a platform company, a company that is profit making, that is even making profit out of Nigeria, that has its massive users in Nigerian domain, that decided to carry its office to Ghana and employ Ghanaians against Nigerians, and then decided to keep sponsoring content against Nigeria and Nigeria's interests all the time. And then we decided to sit down and keep it. So we have to ask some questions. It's not all about uh, uh, Twitter. It's about the corporate existence of a country from a vile individual that is constantly calling the blood of me as a full man and the blood of all Nigerians and any other person that claims to be Nigeria. So it's a very serious issue. It's not something we need to take it lightly. And that is why I am particularly very happy that the government has seen Twitter for who they are and decided to take this action.